Welcome to the independent spent fuel storage installation at the Columbia Generating Station. Within these casts are almost 2,500 used fuel assemblies. That's a little less than half of all the fuel assemblies Columbia has used in its nearly 33-year history. Another 1,900 assemblies are stored in Columbia's spent fuel pool, and then there are 764 in the reactor core itself, producing electricity right now. In those 33 years, Columbia has produced 230 billion kilowatt hours of electricity from this fuel, all of it carbon free. What you should know is that nuclear has the smallest waste stream of any energy source. That's because there's a million times more energy in a pound of uranium than in a pound of coal. Energy density. Which is why over 60 years of commercial nuclear power in America has only generated 70,000 tons of used nuclear fuel. That might sound like a lot, but our coal plants generate that much toxic waste every hour. Even solar generates more toxic waste than nuclear. In fact, all the used nuclear fuel in the United States from those 60 years of operations would fit on just one football field. So what is used nuclear fuel? This is a nuclear fuel pellet. And this is what is inside these casks. Five of these pellets can power a single home for a year. The pellets are put together into long, thin rods that make up a fuel assembly. The assembly goes in and out of the reactor as a single unit. Sometimes mistakenly called spent nuclear fuel, or high-level waste, used nuclear fuel from commercial nuclear power plants is not high-level waste, and is certainly not spent. Used fuel from a commercial nuclear power plant is only partially used just 5% of the energy in the fuel has been used. It can be recycled into new fuel or easily stored until we can burn it in advanced reactors like the kind Bill Gates is building. The big question now is what radioactive materials are in these casks and why it's no big deal to stand next to one. And I'll explain that in the next segment.